Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Thank you all so much for being here. I appreciate each and every one of you. I appreciate you all for following me and supporting me here and following me and supporting me on TikTok, which is really crazy because I did not expect that platform to take off the way that it did, but no matter where I put phlebotomy, it takes off. So thank you all so much for that. And this particular video, I am doing three sticks because I haven't done sticks in a long time. You will see that these are a part of my throwback um, videos that I'm kind of tweaking and taking bits and pieces from content that yes, I have put up before, but I'm putting a nice little spin on it, making, um, content from maybe a video over here, a video over here, and a video over here. Now this, I'm doing this because some of the videos that I posted did not get a lot of love for whatever reason. And I feel like it's a lot of great content that just kind of went by the wayside, you know, just kind of wasted. So I am, and I'm admitting to recycling some of my content for the mere, you know, fact that yes, it was good content. And I think a lot of people missed out. So, and that's only because of me revamping. That's because I did not put uh, tags in a lot of my videos. So they were not being found. I learned that. And although you'll see that I do have tags, I'm sticking with like a few. I think I, I had way too many and that played a huge factor. So please thumbs up, share, like you all when you do see a video like the, this one. And just let me know that, you know, you're good with it because it is educational. Everyone wants to see sticks and I'm going to do more live sticks and things of that nature. But in the meantime, here are three sticks. There's one with a butterfly, there's one with a straight needle, and then there's one with a syringe. So this is really good for a lot of you who have just joined this family because they're gonna be short, they're gonna be sweet. You can get in and get out and get a lot of great information. And if there's anything you want me to cover, please, by all means, let me know. But enjoy this and let me know what you think at the end. I'll see you all later. Enjoy. Move our little cover from the needle. Our bevel is supposed to be up. Always inspect your needle and make sure that your bevel is up. So I'm just going to go ahead and get this blood really quick. I'm going to do right here in the center because it looks good and I think it's going to be a doozy for us. So I try to anchor the best I can even though I'm sticking myself. But you guys see I like to lie flat and just go right in. Most times it's a nice little glide. You can feel the puncture. And then of course you always see your flash. See the little darkness there. So that means we hit our vein. So we're gonna go ahead and get our two. Now because I have nice veins, I tend to always get the blood, right? But that's your middleman. That's your middleman. All of that tubing is it's, it's just a middleman and we don't always need a middleman. Sometimes you think, oh, the, pa the patient's hard. It's gonna be hard to get the blood. Well, it's gonna be even harder if you use the butterfly for a difficult patient because of the middleman. Don't always rely on these butterflies. But most times you're successful and you can be if they're easy patients. When they're difficult patients, the butterfly is not what you're gonna always want. I didn't pop my tourniquet, but of course I should have done that already by now. But as you can see, we were successful. We got our blood, but that is your middleman. And if you're having trouble, be careful with your butterflies. I'm gonna go ahead and remove this needle. It also has a safety device on it. It's a one hand gesture. So with your safety lock, of course, this little yellow part is the lock and it just slides right up. Drop your tube in your hub. Just let it sit there, no puncture. This is my method. I let it sit there. I use the feet. I hold. I go ahead and look for my sight. We're gonna stick right about here. And it's just a nice gentle glide into the vein and you'll know when you're in there and we've talked about this several times it's just a nice little puncture that you'll you feel and with your straight needles you don't have to worry about any 
interference or pretty much anything because it's a it's straight from the vein I'm sorry you guys I'm trying to adjust right into your tube and once you're in your vein you puncture your tube and you get your blood now you guys do know that if since this is the only tube that we need go ahead and release your tourniquet remove your tube invert your tube if it's one that needs inverting ah. set it in a tray or rack so that it's sitting up that's my tube and then go ahead and remove your needle so pop your tourniquet before you remove that tube with your straight needle or any needles and once you do that that needle has come out you go ahead and flip and click